Hey, it's Tomscark11 with my LEGO Sword Art Online minifigure collection. Doing this separately from other anime minifigure collections because there's a bunch of SAO figures. Though, only a few actual characters and most of the figures are just different bodies for them. I also have a Leafa, but I'm not including her because she's very old and needs to be completely remade. So, starting off with the most iconic Einkrad Kirito design. Elucidator was made from an old Knight's Kingdom sword, I think that's what it was called, and heavily edited. And Dark Repulsor was made from a katana piece, and also heavily edited, though not as heavily as the other sword. I once did a tutorial, or kind of a tutorial, I think I mostly just talked about it, on how I make custom LEGO swords, so more detail in that on how these were made specifically. I might remake that video to tell about how I make custom swords if anyone's interested. That would probably be around January or February. I'd get around to remaking that. If anyone wants to have a new version of that instead of just finding the old video on how I make swords. The iconic Einkrad Asuna design. This is an edited katana piece with, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a Technic piece and I cut it in half, very painstakingly cut it in half to make the hand guard here. Kirito and Yu-Gi-Oh's villager outfits. Not really a lot to them, just palette swaps of each other. Made these mostly because I've not made many tunic type minifigures, so I just wanted to get some tunic style figures, like simple villager looks. Not that I particularly liked Kirito and Yuji's designs in those, though they were pretty interesting I guess. Kirito's alicization coat, I guess, I, yeah, kind of, I guess that's a coat. It's more like a military uniform though. And the Night Sky Sword. This one is also an edited katana piece. Most of the swords are edited katana pieces, as mentioned in the sword tutorial if you want to go find that. And no head on this because I just have the one Kirito head that I swap around to different bodies. I guess I'll try putting it on there quick.
So even though the Knight's Grace Sword, I don't actually like it too much in general, it's probably my favorite of the Lego swords that I've made. The Elucidator is my favorite design overall, but my Elucidator is not as accurate as it should be, while this one just looks a lot better. Yu-Gi-Oh! And the Blue Rose Sword. This one's not quite straight enough. The way I make long swords out of katana pieces is that I bend them until they're straight enough. So sometimes they don't always stay straight. Considering how identical their faces are, I could probably take Yu-Gi-Oh's head to make a Corvin from Xenoblade 2 figure if I ever wanted to. Same character designer, Corvin was just... They literally just took Yu-Gi-Oh's face to make Corvin. And lastly, the progressive Einkraj designs for Kirito and Asuna. So Kirito with the Code of Midnight that he got in the first floor boss in Ankrad. So I made these progressive designs based on the novels. They might change a few little details in the anime once that comes out. Really, really hoping the progressive anime is much more faithful to the novels than the way the regular anime has been. Because the regular SAO anime leaves out so many details, especially character details. So really hoping Progressive fixes that. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite Kirito designs in general, just because it's more simplistic. His signature design from Aincrad is probably favorite overall, but this one is probably second favorite with the Code of Midnight. And Asuna's progressive design. She actually has two of them. There is the first floor one that goes up to like floor three, I think, where she has more white. And then starting around floor four or five, switched over to this more black and pink one. So I like that one better, so that's the one I made. Probably should have shown what it looks like under the cloak first before putting the head on. And the would-be hood is covered up by your hair so I didn't bother adding a hood to it. So very hopeful for SAO Progressive getting an anime, really hoping it's not going to leave out tons of details like the regular SAO anime has. And if there's any specific characters from whatever series that you want me to make, 
and see commission info linked in the description below. So see you next time.